Rangers. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome, man. It's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. And it looks like we've missed the bullet here, folks. Thank God. And we're still going to be vigilant. But the bottom line is that, you know, it's interesting. The Gulf of Mexico, um, the folks in the panhandle, man, it's always a trip. And I think that's one reason the panhandle have never really exploded on price. What happens is that the you know, if you, if, you, if you take a look at how the hurricanes come in, you know, this one here was, was coming in, you know, into running into the east. But what seems to happen every single time they hit Mexico is that it's like a magnet and it starts pushing it north and pushing it west. And that's exactly what's happened this time. And hopefully, well, I don't want anyone to get hit, but that someone's going to get hit. But the bottom line is that that's exactly what's happening this particular time. So it's moving northwest still. You know, we'll get some rain, we'll get some winds, but nothing like, uh, you know, what could happen. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way because that is what you believe in yourself, your whole reality. Everything you believe is your creation. <laughs> and you talk about, you know, doing some projecting, okay, the last few days, you can imagine, right? <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 226, NASDAQ up 233, SP's up 56. Gold, gold contract up $18.20, trading at 1965 an ounce. You get silver up 50 cents, $25.10 an ounce. Light sweet crude, trading up a buck 13, $81.23 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note up 23 ticks, trading 110.12, the 30 up a full point, plus seven ticks at 121.05 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 524 ticks, 103.535, the Euro at 108. The Yen's trading out here at a price point of 145 and the British Pound is at 126 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna we'll know what's going on in your world. Excuse me, folks. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, this market's going to go after its highs, folks. You get window dressing coming. You know, we're in it. We're, we're going to be in it next couple days, okay? And you can see it doesn't take much. The spy is up $5.71 today. You know, you get an expansion of volume. Not, it's not huge, but it already got into the high volume bar on the way down, which is the 446.77. Just blew that away. So your next one up there is the... Let's put this right here. You're going to see... We're right next to it. The, the highs of the lows are the, no, the lows, the lows of the highs is 451.88. Now, that's going to be pretty easy to tag, man. You know, and what that was all about out here is that you had the jolts number come out. And so this morning when the jolts number come out, the bottom line, it came out soft. And what the jolts number is, is the amount of jobs that are available, and they've been going down for eight months. Now, in this particular number, this particular number came down very fast, though. So... The bottom line, what does that do? Well, guess what? Here we go. Go take a look at the note and bond market. You take a look at the note and bond market, you're gonna see that right off the bat, it took that baby right up. It took the dollar down. You can see that wide price spread there on the 10 year. You go back over to the dollar, you take a look at the dollar, and what it did with the dollar is basically failed after. So the dollar had, you know, the dollar was trying to make this swing point, right? 
and it just missed it. Now, this is where this always gets cool, man, because the swing point out there was the 104.699. We spiked 104.447. Now, we haven't broken the uptrend yet, okay, but we're just about there, man, particularly because what you had out here is this. We can go back the whole last week, and you kept having bearish signals. You know, you had a doji, a last engulfing. You had another doji, a monster doji. That was two days ago. You've closed a little bit lower yesterday, which is an indication it wants to go. And now, bottom line, you get a nice bear, bearish engulfing. What we have is that you get one more day of this, and you're going to, you know, you're going to see, okay, the way this chart is set up, it, it has broken it, okay? What I like to see, the reason I want one more of these, I really want to see a break with conviction. You know, right now we'll blow it, and a break with conviction is you get another wide price spread accelerated volume, but we have no volume on the dollar. You get one more of those, guess what? Then you're going to start heading all the way down to this 99,753. And of course, once you, not once you have it, it's already happened, okay? You get gold and an ABC structure on the way up. Gold took off. You get you're up eighteen dollars sixty cents. You get one hundred and sixty-five thousand contracts traded. Just the opposite of the dollar. That's how it works. Uh, you know, he's taking a B point out. The B point here had you know, one hundred and seventy, you know, one hundred and thirty-seven, one hundred and sixty-seven, one hundred and seventy-six. You know, bottom line, you, you took it out. So next move in gold is coming up to this two thousand twenty-eight. A lot of moving parts, but the bottom line, let's go to the cues. We take a look at the cues out here. Because what you gotta understand is that in both cases, the the dollar giving up the dollar gives the broad market also room to breathe. That's that's how it goes, okay? Because it's not you gotta always remember what the number is. It's what you can buy with the number, right? If the dollar's lower and you still have a higher number. Well, guess what? That doesn't mean you can buy more, okay? So what you have here with the Qs, you're going to see with the Qs, the bottom line is that, you know, you got expansion of volume yesterday, not, not a lot of volume, but you can see when you look at it, the bottom line is that it's, you know, that small downdraft looks to me like we're going to go right for the highs once again, which is really wild in the time frame that, that we're in. So we'll see what happens when it, when it starts to, you know, basically get up to that level. We get a lot more data that's coming in. But, you know, you've heard me the last, you know, week, basically, three or four days in particular, that my take is that if this is actually turned, well, here, yeah, oh, then you go to the TLT. Man, you look at the TLT. The TLT has rejected lower price, particularly on the monthly, right? And it never made the bottom. You know, even that you you can take into consideration too that the TLT as a expense ratio is 0 0.015. So even taking that math into a you know consideration, the bottom line we never made 91.85. We made 92.23. Okay, so that's saying that that's also now you know step by step. You're only going to be on the way to 109, and we're at 96. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, we have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now are trading up 233, Nasdaq's up 241, S&P's up 59. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow. The Dow is trading up 233. We get the Nasdaq up 244. S&Ps are up 59. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, you come over to our website. It's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our Website, you go into newsletters, you're going to see it right on the left hand side, second one down, the opening call. You can get that for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. They all come with a 30 day money back guarantee. Basil just did an outstanding workshop for his subscribers, which is still right on that page. So when you get the newsletter, folks, you're going to get the Current workshop, you're going to get the other uh, archives that he did out there. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, 29 days from now, you can cancel that uh, newsletter. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. I'm pleased to hear that uh, there's a, a better chance that you might be missed. Let's hope that's the case. Yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, living in Florida, we're always so lucky where we are. It's, it's, it's if, if you look at the makeup where we are, folks, all right, we're right in the middle of the West Coast. And it's pretty hard to get hit. And thank you, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the, we're, we're, we're pretty far out of it right now. So it is pretty cool. The, the poor people up at the panhandle, man, that's just a never ending deal, man. Oh, it's yeah. terrible. Look it really that. is. It's terrible. You yeah. know? So, what are yeah, we going to look so, at out here? So, then, let's do a couple of things. It's kind of an important period because uh, we've been looking at the Dow since that August the 1st high. We were fortunate enough to be able to short it right there. We still actually short. We anticipated, based on this trend line, this pink, and this is what I discussed in the webinar, how you can draw these uh, trend lines, how you can draw these price uh, match where you can go the number of bars on the left equal the number of bars on the right. It's bar symmetry. It gives you good support, a good resistance. I'll show you that in the dollar in a moment. But it held this inside wedge target support line and I said to subscribers, let, be prepared that there should be quite a nice bounce. And that's really what we're looking at here. Um, I'm looking to see just how far in the, between now and uh, tomorrow, as we get to the end of the month, how the where this goes. And 
how the technicals improve. If they improve enough, then we might have seen not just a low, but the low that says we can go quite a bit higher. At the moment, I still think it's a low and that we should be doing some downside, <clears throat> excuse me, testing over the next week. But if you look at the SMH, which is a semis, which we've had really nice profits on the downside, uh, which we shorted, and we also had the three times short, that we're out of altogether at this particular point. A very nice move here. And what I've been saying all the time for weeks now <clears throat> is that the, the weekly charts in all the indices have been very strong. I didn't even get a sell signal on the, on the declines that we saw just recently. And that to me says that the larger tide is still rising. The shorter tide is, is declining, the little rip tides and that. But basically, we've been in a daily sell mode and now we're going to see if we're going to come out of that what happens next but i wanted to mention the dollar <clears throat> there's a, t a technique that i used that i was mentioning just earlier on this bar symmetry i don't know how markets do this but it's just fascinating look there was a high back in uh in may the 31st of may and the dollar index of 104.79 it came down sharply, made this H pattern that I'm always talking about, the dreaded H, failed, and it went down very sharply to the low in the 99s. And then it started to rally, and I drew in a midpoint that said from this left side in May to the low that was made in July, there might be an equal number of bars to the upside. And if that's the case, we've got to follow this 914 period moving average to see how it continues to hold. Well, it went to within pennies and, and one day before this price, actually two days before the price symmetry. So it went to 104.45. I mean, I don't know how markets actually figure that out. Look, the previous side was 104.70 and it went to 25 cents under that. And now it's starting to turn down. But I just wanted to show this as well. The technique that I used for the Dow to be able to get that turn you can see here in the dollar that the nine period moving average is still much higher than the 14. So I think it's going to be a work in progress on the, on, to see how it's either speed, and that means tomorrow the dollar just gets slammed and it really plunges sharply, or it's a process. The pro we saw a process in the Dow. Let me, oops, let me just go back there to show you this particular technique. In the Dow, here it is, how it took so much time for that nine period to turn pink to go under the 14. Yeah, so, you know, you know um, what's interesting, Basil, is that yes. the Dow itself is a lot weaker than the the S and P or the Nasdaq. I so mean, because me the, both of those you have you know already come up to the you know trading day of the what the fourth or something. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, so let me just show you something here. Look, here's the pink nine period moving average. It's within a hair of crossing positive, and the price is moving very nicely. And you're correct about the Qs. So the Dow is the weaker one. So using the same technique, and if I had to go to gold, you'll see that gold right now is kind of on the cusp of crossing positive. So uh, I like to use this indicator as kind of a trend. It's not where you get the turns. I use other techniques to get the actual turns. So to sum up, the dollar is having a really strong move. There's a, a technique that I call this is a cha inverted Chapman wave Roman candle. Not exactly right because I prefer that the body of the candle is a half to three quarters away from the wick, either on the upside or the downside. This is a little bit more than half. But I got a technique that says within two sessions, if the dollar is trading above 104.20 for about 90 minutes, there's a chance that it could retest uh, today's high. If in the next two days it starts to close below today's low, we don't know what it is because the market hasn't closed, but so far the low is uh, 103.50, you've got to be careful. You've got to start looking at the lower levels, and that 200-period moving average is at 103.20. So it's a work in progress, but it's achieved. Uh, we are, we've are we been long the dollar for a very long time. The UUP did a one-to-one-to. -one -to, that's the dollar power shares DB US dollar bull. Um, that went in a beautiful one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. Plus, I'll do this in my show tomorrow to show people who are listening. There was a falling axe expansion. There was an ins a Chapman wave. Um, uh, in, this is the peak D. 
instant restart goes to another peak a b c and a d it just did that today so it's accomplished everything that it needs to but as i say the technicals are still pretty strong and the stochastic is flat at 86 percent so that says to me that there's still internal strength in the dollar unless it just gets smashed to the downside and actually if you look at the eur usd you'll see they did exactly E U R U S D when you do things these too quickly. It hit exactly, look, he has this pr price symmetry of this arch formation and it held the 200 period moving average. The nine hasn't crossed positive yet, so it's kind of lagging, but it's got a nice bounce off the 200 period moving average, which it hadn't been to uh, since the lows in June. And folks, it's very easy to get Bowser's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. Hit newsletters. You're going to see on the left-hand side, second one down. You hit that baby, and you are off to the races. Bowser, you have a great night, a safe night. And, of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We have the Dow up 269. NASDAQ's up 253. S&Ps are up 63. We'll come right back. Rising inflation, rocketing interest rates, a volatile dollar, an uncertain market, there's an asset that all traders flock back to, gold. However, these irregular times also mean a regular gold market, which presents its own unique challenges. This brings up the question, what moves the gold market? This is a question I'll be answering in my next live webinar. On August 30th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a live free webinar for all those who subscribe to my newsletter, The Gold Report. The Gold Report has been in publication for over two decades, and I've seen just about every market gold has been traded in. This experience lends me great insight when trading gold and other mining equities, and now that insight can be yours. On August 30th, I will deep dive into gold, bonds, and the dollar, where they are now, how they affect each other, and what to look for when looking to set up a trade. Additionally, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of the XAU, HUI, and GDX, as well as cover individual gold equities and answer questions live on the air. Subscribe to the Gold Report today so you don't miss this rare moment in gold. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 267. You get the Nasdaq up 251. S&Ps are up 63. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do each and every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D-Oracle.com. That's Ord-Oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, I sent you over a couple of charts. There are actually five of them. Um, we can cover the S&Ps real quick. Okay, which one was that? Is that the first okay, one? Okay, that'd be chart 
chart number one. Well, you hit this market big time, Tim. So it's a beautiful thing, brother. Let's let's tell us. Yeah. Let's start with chart well, one. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, uh, well, you know, it's, um, we're in we're in a support area. That blue uh, shaded area. Yes. That uh, blue shaded area is, is where the ticks and trend have reached panic levels. Okay. And panic levels always form a, a bottom in the market. So market's probably going to flip sideways here over the next month or so. Okay. And what's going on right now, we're going into a, a gap area. I got uh, open gaps. So I got a, a blue line to yes. that uh, area, and that area is kind of uh, shaded pink. We're into it right now, and that gap had uh, 76 million shares. So it would be important what the volume is today if you test a gap on 10% or lighter volume, the gap's normally resistance. If you test it on that equal volume, it'll go up to the next higher swing, um, which is basically pretty much where that higher shaded area of pink is, which is that gap up there. I see. So we'll have to wait and see what, what goes on here. I don't think the market is, is starting a bull run here. I think this whole thing is just a big trading range. That'd but, be a nice range, uh, though. That'd be a nice range, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a nice range. It's, it's kind of tricky in here. It didn't quite get, you know, I got it a is. buy signal way too quick. No, it's tricky. I got out There's of that no buy doubt. signal, Yeah, and I, did, I didn't get back in. Uh, but um, I don't think the market's going to go farther. But actually, uh, anyhow, the, the, the two pink areas are possibly areas, uh, which is where gaps are. That's two, uh, two possible areas where uh, a... Um, a sell signal could develop. Yeah, but I don't think the market's going to keep going up. You and know what's so cool, why, Tim? What I what I uh, love what you it, do here, right? And folks, okay. So let's, let's picture: if we're in a consolidation, right? What, what tends to happen, folks, is this: is that you could go up to the highs, you know, you could volume that drops off, okay, and then you know, bottom line, yeah, it wants to go back down. Now the cool thing is, is that you can see, as Tim has pointed out, that panic area down there. I love how that panic area is down there. The reason being is that, you know, you never know how low you're going to go, but we know that lows are always kind of spike lows. Do you know what I'm saying? Versus highs. Highs can be laying out there for, you know what I mean, six months, seven months going across. So it's pretty cool, you know, looking forward, you know, speculating, of course, of how it may play out. But that would be pretty cool, man, because that's a wide price spread, man. You're talking about, you know, something from like, what, the, the four, you know, 50 level down to the, you know, 433 yeah. level, man, you know? Yeah, that's, that's 100 points. So yeah. it's, it's nothing to sneeze at. No, uh, no. 100 right. points on the SBYs, would yeah. be 1,000 points on the uh, other one. But let's look to chart, chart two, and I'll tell you why okay. we're probably not making okay. this this rally is going on. for. Well, yeah, we, we, this is a chart we've probably shown a couple of different times, probably back in, oh, you know, March, April of this yes. year. Um, anyhow, uh, I went. What I did here was the top window is the ten-day trend. Okay. And I and then the shaded down area is when the ten-day trend got above one point two. Yeah. So I, I so that's all the shaded areas. Then I drew a horizontal shaded area to show you where all of those uh, what what levels of uh, the panic occurred yes. on the SPYs. So, and uh, we talked about this chart before when we came up with a support area between 365 to 390. Yeah. Because that's where the trend uh, reached 1.2 or higher in that price range. So in that whole site, it went, so it went sideways for 11 months, started basing back in May of 2022 uh, or yeah, 22, and completed the pattern in April of 2023. So you got an 11-month base. Now, this is, you know, Weisskopf stuff now. So you got an 11-month base. Right. So in general, the market should last around 11 months. Okay. So so we're still early in, in the, the rally phase because the market, you know, started rallying in May. We're in August. It's only been rallying four months. Yeah. It should basically rally all the way into probably next March or something. That'll blow some months, you know, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause, yeah. So that's you know that because that's the, the Weisskopf method. Because yep. the longer the base, the longer the rally. Right. So anyhow, right. So you know, so let's get where we are right now. And I circled that in uh, red. I see that. And so, yeah. yeah. So anyhow, so the market 
doesn't form bottoms until, you know, intermediate term bottoms until that trend gets to 1.2. So far, you know, we're coming in as I did this this morning, we're 0.99. Okay. So even though we've got a panic range going on, it's still on a 10 day average, not high enough to suggest a, uh, a, a base worth rallying out of, at least not yet. Also, we're in the weakest quarter of the year. That runs from basically, you know, August to October time frame. We're in that time frame right now. So we'll probably beat around in this area for the next month, maybe month and a half. And the trend, most likely between that time frame going forward, you're going to see a lot of different days, probably 1.2, 1. 1.5, 1. 1. you know, who knows? Yes. Maybe two old trends to get that trend up to 1.2. then once you get it up to 1.2, now you can look for a bottom. And so that's the reason why I'm thinking, even though this rally looks really good and it's like it's going to go to the moon, it won't. And Tim, also Tim the, what, would be, second, what would be, if you don't mind asking, what would be, like when we're getting up to that highs, do you have a number on the trend at the highs that it may be coming into? Uh, uh, you see the, what I'm saying? The, what, the, the last high we had in, in uh, late July, early August, you mean? No, yeah, th or, what I'm saying is that, okay, let's picture that if we get up to the highs, right? You'd be looking for that trend to be at what numbers versus the lows. You see what I'm saying? Uh, okay, well, trend, uh, normally, okay, the 10 day trend, a lot of times you got to be careful when it gets down to 0 0.9, 0 0.8. Right, that's my question. 10 day trend. Okay, that's what my that's, question that's is. Cool. Okay, right. Yeah. All right. right. And so when that starts happening, if you go back and look uh, going into the top of uh, 2022 in January, you had a trend staying down right around that point eight range, warning that um, even actually coming off that big top, right? you know, of the, uh, that trend stayed low for the first uh, probably two months of that decline. Yes. Um, okay. If you look at that 10 day trend. So, so anyhow, so, we're into this, you know, short-term bounce here. And also, I wanted to uh, point out the second weakest uh, week of the year, seasonality-wise, is a week after Labor Day. Okay. That's next next week. Okay. So Pretty well. I know you got 30 seconds here to go. That's good. So but I wanted just, to point that out. That's awesome. So. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are going to be coming right back. And don't forget, you get hold of Tim at Ord, O-R-D, Dash oracle.com or dash oracle.com. We have the Dow Industrials up 274, NASDAQ's up 239, SPs are up 62. Tim and I are going to be coming right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tom O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. 
Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. We're talking on man, Mr. Tim Ord. We are talking markets out here. So uh, which chart would you like to go to, Tim? All right. Uh, so everybody, any questions on the S&Ps? Uh, no, I think that? we get that pretty good for right now. All right. So let's go... Uh, let's go to chart number three. Okay. So, <laughs> and we we showed this chart probably over the last couple of weeks. We uh, we showed the money out. The bottom window is the 18-day average of the uh, up-down volume, and these close above minus 10 uh, to get a buy signal. And the next higher window is the 18-day average of advanced decline percent for GDX, and these get above minus 10 for a buy signal. So both those things closed above. Um, or at least when I did this chart, and they're yeah, they're still above minus ten. So that's on a buy signal. And the blue areas over the last I don't know this goes back about a year or so. And the blue areas show the times when both those indicators are above minus ten, and the red or the pink areas are the times when both indicators are below minus ten. Yes. So it shows you all the the buy and sell signals over the last you know, a couple of, there over the last several months. So anyhow, so, you know, this flipped to a buy. And so this is kind of a short term signal. And you know, it's so cool here, two. folks, Go you ahead. know, if you've been, you know, listening to Tim and I, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, as Tim has been educating us, okay, the bottom line, you know, we've been watching this chart, he gave you the numbers and we're here. Which is, it's so cool, Tim. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you're right. We're here. Also, I wanted to point out, I got a gap uh, circled in there. Yes. And that that sideways box going there I is see how that. big that gap was. Yes. And if you, if you notice, it filled the gap. Right. Stopped almost exactly where the bottom of the gap was. And uh, I thought that was kind of interesting, turned up. And then if we, so, and, you know, and if we, if we, if we look at that too, and do a Wyckoff deal, that gap, you know, had 56 million shares and we tested it on 18 million. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. 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 Exa exactly right. So you tested a gap on lighter volume. So he had some clues that gap was probably going to be important. To really get the confirmation, though, you need uh, everything to turn up. You yes. know, it didn't get the exact bottom, but, uh, you know, but when it does give signals, those signals are usually pretty good. Right. Right. So, cool. yeah, you know, so we hit the gap, we did it on lighter volume, and now both those indicators are above minus 10. So let's flip to chart two. And um, oh, that, this is kind of. No, we're going to go to chart four, right? Oh, excuse uh, me. Yeah, yeah, right. Chart, but I, yeah, I see chart, chart two of gold. Chart. I get it. I get it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Right. Anyhow, you know, the, the top window is the cumulative up down volume percent. And uh, last time. Or last Thursday, I think we showed this, and it was just right on that line. Yes. And and uh, so so now you got you, you finally got through that line, and I circled the the ones in blue, uh, and with uh, blue lines when that signal occurred, and okay. I circled it in red when that uh, cumulative uh, up down volume 
actually the, the signal comes when you pass when you close above the mid Bollinger band. Okay. So go back to that first signal back in uh, what November, I guess. Yeah. Can't read. So anyhow, it, it passed above the mid Bollinger band. Stayed on that signal until uh, looks like about it. Uh, April, mid-April, close below the mid Bollinger Band. That's where that red line comes from. Yep. And actually, if you notice, the, the market rallied again in uh, May, and that indicator didn't hardly move. Yep. It stayed and I'm, below I'm the mid Bollinger Band. Up. Right now, as you're speaking, just so they can see another one, you can see that, I mean, it's decisive, folks. I mean, it was it was leaning on it yesterday, and today it's there, big time. Okay, go ahead, yep. man. What a trip. Yeah. yeah. So, so anyhow, so in May, it did a double top on GDX. Yes. So, and if you notice that indicator, the top one, it didn't, you know, it never even closed above the mid-Bollinger band. So it stayed on the sell signal. Right. Even though the market went back and tested that high. So I thought that was that's kind of an cool. important issue. Yeah, that's really cool, man. And Yeah, they're really yeah. cool. So it gave, it gave a buy signal, you know, in uh, July and gave a, a sell signal end of July, 1st of August, and that trade looked like about a break-even. You bought it and pretty, um, pretty much closed. You bought it and sold about the same spot. So that's, you know, yeah, not bad, I guess. You know, not all of the indicators are perfect, but this one's pretty good. Now, uh, you got to close, you know, a different type of method, kind of using a similar indicators okay. but in a di different way. Now you're closing above mid-Bollinger Band, so that's, that's a, a bullish signal. Yes. So... So now they're piling I want to, I want to look up, man. At the, they're piling up. <laughs> yeah, they're piling up. So, so this is pretty good. So now you want to look at the bigger time frames okay. to see where you are. And so this next chart, which is chart number five. Okay. Now, now this is a monthly chart. It goes yep. back, uh, I don't know, two thousand seven or something. And uh, so same same type of indicator. It's a it's the monthly cumulative. Advanced decline on the bottom window. Okay. And the top window is a monthly cumulative advance up down volume, both from for GDX. Now the the bottom window, I've I've marked all the signals going back as far as I could. Yes. And it basically got the top in uh big top back in two thousand twelve, gave a sell signal and stayed on that sell signal in two it, to uh, basically two thousand sixteen. And that was a long time, uh, I know, man. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, but if you notice, if you look at the bottom window there, this indicator has kind of been going sideways since uh, mid-2022. Yeah. And so to me, it's, it's kind of a building a base. And are you above the mid-Bollinger Band? Uh, you're on it. Yeah. And so, but if you look at the timing of those previous signals all the way back to 2016, they're usually about a year, year and a half. Yes. You know, between, between all those signals. Well, we're approximately from the last signal. You know, we're due for a, a, a signal right here because of the previous type signals giving that signal about every year and a half. So you're due for a big signal right here, right now. And you know what's so and cool, so, Tim? When you actually look at this here, I'll put this other chart up, folks, and it'll blow it up a little for you so you can see it. We really, you know, even though it seemed like, you know, this was quite a downdraft, that wasn't too much of a retracement, actually. <laughs> you know, from no. the lows to the highs to where we were here you know and so that's that's intriguing also right you know even though that uh you know but because particularly because you know the dollar's giving it up today and you know if it continues to give it up well you know the metals want a higher price man so it's going to be intriguing watching this shake out yeah what well, yeah what, what goes forward and what this indicators do i mean their advanced decline of the gdx and their yes. up down volume for gdx well that's the whole interwining mechanisms of what the stocks are doing in GDX. Right. So this is so this is really kind of gives you a real clear picture, not a false picture, but what what is actually happening in the uh, GDX uh you know the stocks in GDX. Yeah, exactly. So it's it yeah, so it's, it's it's kind of an important indicator. So it doesn't it's never as I don't know, I guess you can whip you around but it's never really going to lie to you. Yeah. So I think that's what's kind of important on this. Well, listen, career, Tim, so. it's always a pleasure. We really, you know, 
you know, appreciate the uh, great education you've been giving us. And don't forget, folks, okay, he's on every Tuesday, Thursday. If you want to see a trip, man, go back a few Tuesdays and Thursdays so you can see the how this came up, okay, step by step. And the bottom line is that it's a stair step and it worked out like ASAP 100%. Tim, have a great one, safe one. Look forward to speaking to Thursday. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 286, NASDAQ's up 236, S&Ps are up 63. And don't forget, folks, tomorrow um, at 4 to 5, I'm going to be doing a subscriber workshop for the Gold Report. Subscribers. It's very easy to get into, you know, bottom line, Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee also. I'm going to do it right after. I'm going to finish the show and then go four to five. So if you'd like to come into that workshop, come over, sign up for the Gold Report. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, the 29th day, can the thing. Bottom line, you get the workshop, you get the Gold Report for a month. Bottom line, you know, you just heard Tim and I go through it, but the bottom line is that what I'm going to be going through, I'm going to be going through gold, I'm going to be going through the bonds, I'm going to be going through the dollar, and of course, uh, you know, the equities. Bottom line is that, you know, my, my take, and that's why you hear me yapping out here, um, you know, and as well as Tim, uh, we've been doing this a long time, man. Um, this is a run, you know, it's, it's set up. It's set up for a run, that's the bottom line. And in particular, here, I'll just show you this part. This is the biggest part that I think that, no, not that I think that, you know, yeah, well, it's always speculation. So if you look at the dollar, see what you're going to, when you see, when you look at the dollar here, watch this. The dollar has still been in a downtrend. 
in, in a monster way here. It's, it's pretty wild watching how this is shaken out. Pull this back for a second. You know, this is a monthly. So you can see that what we actually did on this dollar, when we go from the highs to the lows, you only did just, you didn't even do a 0.382 retracement from the last low. You did just over 0.23. So what's probably happening here is that the doll is probably in a monster ABC down that will take it. Not only my take right now, you're going to hear me saying that, yeah, the doll wants to go to 99. But the larger take, this doll wants to go all the way down to 89. And if that's what we get, hold on for the ride, baby, because it's going to be a ride and a half. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happy, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.